Hey guys, I love a burger, but there are a few things that has to be done. Number one, it has to be done on the grill, and number two, it has to be big. That's why I decided to make up this bad boy, Dave's ultimate supreme burger. I call it the backslider. Why? It'll make the most health conscious person backslide. So let me show you how to do this, and let's get started. Okay guys, to kick things off here, I'm going to start with a pound of lean ground beef. And I know I keep saying I'm going to make my own, <laughs> and I will someday. And to this I'm going to add half a teaspoon of minced garlic. And you can use garlic powder too if you like, I just like the minced. A couple of tablespoons of ketchup, and I'm just kind of eyeballing things here. Uh, that's about two tablespoons. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Four or five drops of Tabasco just for that heat. And of course some salt, ground black pepper, again half a teaspoon. And again this is totally optional but my one of my favorites, the flavor explosion, just busting with flavor. Then of course we're going to mix things up here until it's nicely combined. Even just the smells are starting to come through right now. Yumzers. It's funny, I think I've said this in other videos, but when I first started making burger patties, I had breadcrumbs and milk and eggs and everything in there. It was a mini meatloaf, but you don't need all that. Just some, some ground beef and some spices will do the trick. Now I'm going to grab up a good fistful of the meat and make it into a ball that's a little bit too much. And we'll just flatten this out into a patty. So you're going to end up with something like this, and always remember guys, you're going to end up with a little bit of shrinkage, sometimes a lot, so make it a little bigger than anticipated, and we'll just set this aside on a plate, and as always I'm going to put a little indentation in the center, that kind of helps with the shrinkage, and to cook evenly. I'm just going to remind you folks that these are not small burgers, these are not quarter pounders, they're half pounders because it is the ultimate burger. Now you're gonna get two patties out of this, of course, but you know, you can reduce it down a little bit and get three, but I just like them big and thick and juicy. Okay, we're all set here, guys, so let's head on out to the grill. Now these beautiful, nice, juicy burgers go on the grill. So what we're gonna do is just cook these up on one side. We're not gonna touch them until they're beautifully done and then give them a flip. But it's a beautiful sunny day, guys. Just look at this. I should mention, too, that this poor old grill has seen its better days, so it's going to be a bit tricky. I buy new burners and I buy new plates and everything, but we're moving, so, you know, I'm not that stupid. I'm not going to buy it for somebody else. After a few minutes here, guys, I think they're done on the one side, so I'm just going to give them a flip. And just before the burgers are done, the old trick of laying the buns on the grill. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here, guys. You can tell with this one, the juices are pretty much running clean. And we're fairly firm in the center. Now what I'm gonna do is lay my cheeses on. I'm gonna got mozzarella and cheddar. And you can use anything you want. You could use, you know, Swiss, goat's cheese, blue cheese, whatever you like. This is just my favorite. And we'll just let that melt down a little bit and we're good to go. Alrighty then, let's slip these on a plate. And we'll just take these in and build our burger. Mmm, they smell fantastic. Okay guys, to build our burger I'm going to start with some garlic aioli. And just kind of spread this around the bottom of the bun. And of course this is the ultimate quest of this video. You tell me what you put on your burger. This is what I just simply love on my burgers. Burger patty on. And look at this, guys. It just fits perfectly. A layer of bacon. And I always use a good quality bacon. It makes the difference in the world. Some caramelized onions. And I'm going to do a video on caramelized onions. Tomatoes. Or tomatoes. And, of course, some lettuce. And, of course, a burger wouldn't be a burger without some dill pickles. And, of course, some mustard. 
Now I'm using Dijon here, but you can use yellow mustard if you like. And last but not least, some ketchup. Pop the top on, and there you have it guys, the mother of all burgers. Dave's Ultimate Supreme Burger. Mmm, this looks so good. All right, my fine friends, now the ultimate time, the taste test. And just look at this. Oh my goodness. The backslider looks so good. Okay, now how to eat it. I don't even know where to begin, but this is not going to be pretty, but it's going to be good. Mmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Sweet mummy and sweet daddy. Mm, guys, this is so good. I don't even know where to start. The contents of the burger are just great. The patty supreme. Oh, I just love this. You gotta make this. It's so good. Mm. I don't I don't want you to watch me the rest of this. Mm. For this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com, beautiful new site. Subscribe to our newsletter, become a member, all kinds of cool stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe and see you next time.